Hello guys and welcome to a way too early prediction of Mike um, Strawn's season this year, I guess is what you could call it. Uh, first, yeah, I have a cast on. Basically, I have this on for two weeks because I broke cartilage in my thumb. That, yeah, that, yeah. But yeah, two weeks, then it's hopefully gone. I mean, if... If it's worse than they thought, then I'm going to have it on for another four to six weeks. But let's hope not. Please, dear God, no. I can't go much longer without... I think I'm only like a few days in, and I'm already going insane because I can't do any sports. All I'm able to do is squat. Take like a 25-pound weight, hold it like this, and squat. That's literally all I can do. So I'm going to have like Pat McAfee legs by the end of this. But yeah, let's get into this. So Mike Strawn... He has shown, you, you, we already know, you know, he's like six foot five uh, and ran a four six four five forty. So he's bigger than Michael Pittman and just about as fast, if not faster, than Michael Pittman. And Michael Pittman is already considered very big and very fast. So when you're more than that, that you're a beast. Um, and most people... Saw him as that. It's just the reason he fell so far in the draft was because he was playing in Division Two. So, some places would think that he might, it, it might be a fluke, you know, the numbers that he's putting up. But, so far in training camp, it does not look at all like it is a fluke. Because, I mean, here are some, here are two clips that I have uh, that I found on Twitter. Um, yeah, he's bullying... Pro Bowl cornerback Xavier Rhodes, who had a very good year last year. Um, and then on the other one, uh, I think someone was covering. Yeah, he juked him out at the beginning. but <clears throat> And but those two clips, they're very good. And there are so many reports saying that Michael Strawn, uh, Mike Strawn, is having a very, very good training camp. He's looking really good. So what I think this year... Uh, it's probably going to happen with him. Probably a similar season to Michael Pittman Jr. last year. You know, like a 500-something yards total receiving over the year. Um, maybe more than just one or two touchdowns, I believe, is what he had receiving. Maybe a bit more than that because Mike Strong is built kind of like a tight end. So I feel like when we, if it's a... If we're close to the goal line, you know, like on the 5 or the 10 yard line, we're just going to have him run a slant or if we're on the 5, maybe a hitch or something. Um, because if he has a smaller corner on him, no corner is coming over him and swatting the ball. And if he can keep the corner behind him and the quarterback puts the ball right here, nobody's getting to that. So in short yardage situations where we're right in front of the end zone and he can just run in there and catch a short little dump pass and t score a touchdown he is he would be very good in those situations so I feel like we'd use him accordingly and maybe he'd get like three or four touchdowns so a few more than Michael Pittman Jr. in his rookie year do I think he's gonna be like some amazing Pro Bowl receiver this year no but I do think he will be a meaningful contributor to this team whether or not it is a good or a bad team that's still kind of to be decided because we need to see how this is shaping up. But it's looking like Quentin Nelson and um, Carson Wentz are going to be playing week one. That's what they're aiming for. And that's you know what they're saying. And that's what it's kind of looking like. And I hope it is. Um, and I feel like Michael Pitt, if um, Carson Wentz is a quarterback, I think our receivers might do a bit better just because even though everybody likes to give Carson Wentz a ton of crap for being rated the worst quarterback last year, he also had an even worse receiving core in Philadelphia, and the Colts don't exactly have the best receivers. Um, and he had definitely a worse offensive line, definitely a worse uh, ground game, you know, worse running backs, uh, definitely a worse defense, just a worse team overall. So I feel like he's going to do at least a bit better with a 
good team around him, and he has a good team. The Colts have a good defense. They have a, the best offensive line in the NFL. Probably our weakest thing is our wide receivers, uh, if we're excluding quarterback here. And we still have some wide receivers who can do some damage, but it's not like we have this one guy who's just, like, the best in the NFL, you know? A T.Y., if you constantly feed him the ball like Andrew Luck did and you have that connection, then you have that from T.Y. But other than that, it's not going to be that same dominance. Mike Strawn looks like he's going to have a really good year this year. And I hope, I hope, I hope, because I, I said in my draft video that this guy's going to be a beast. Let's continue my streak of being right with prospects. So far, the only prospects I've been wrong with have been TJ Leaf and... Um, 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 maybe Aaron Holiday? I, I guess since he's off the Pacers, now we can say Aaron Holiday. Add him to that list. So yeah, I will see you guys next time. As always, I'm not funny, and... Let's hope I don't go insane, because I can't really do any sports right now. See you guys next time. There's the 2-2. Oh, and he went too far. <laughs>